Right then, uh, 10.45 p.m. Uh, and I'm on my way home. I enjoyed that. Uh, the kid from Mickey's gym. James is it, 27 year old, making his debut for a cruel fighter he was. Oh. 27 year old, he got stuck right in man. He lit the place up man, he could go pro in. He could go pro in with a bit of conditioning and be a serious six round fighter. Oh man, what a fight that one man. I've got it on camera. You miss things like that man if you don't go to shows like this. You'd... If I had to film it today, I would have been gutted. But I enjoyed that. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Uh... Yeah, I enjoyed that. It's uh, there's something about a going to an amateur show. There's something about an amateur show that uh, makes you come out and you feel that's why you got involved in boxing because there's no talk about money, no talk about money whatsoever. Uh, everybody comes and does the job, they all fight, they all want to win, the mates cheer and enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. I should go to more amateur shows. Enjoyed it. I think there's a lot to be said for how enjoyable it is and I think that I think that the people in the professional game should take a leaf out of the amateur the amateur shows and take a leaf out of their book and go look what they're doing of course that tonight was a fantastic show fantastic that's a nine and a half out of ten that it's a nine and a half out of ten from me. I enjoyed it that much. And I'm supposed to be bitter, jealous, twisted, hater. Porky, you're a hater! Porky, you're a hater! You're always panning things, you're miserable! I was telling it straight, that was a great show. I'm not saying it because it's to all my pals who've put a show on, Mick and Josh, and that I'm close to them. I'm not saying that. If it were Pony, I would have said, mate, Pony that. Well, I said it on the phone. <laughs> well, that were a nine and a half out of ten. When Gwyn Whale left, we missed last fight. Or oh, last two rounds at last fight. A really good. Really, I don't think you missed last fight, Gwyn. That were a right good show. You regret that, Gwyn. We can catch up. You can catch up and watch it on Porky's Corner, 6pm Saturday, repeated anytime you want, you just press your YouTube, it's always there, I think that's the uh, best amateur show I've ever been to, I've seen some amateur shows over the years, yeah that was really good, restored my faith in boxing after watching that load of rubbish in Saudi and all them people all putting on fall, false fronts and back slapping and creeping and generally saying things to get in with right people and working the tickets and everybody looking after themselves all that load of rubbish from Saudi the cesspit the cesspit because that's what it is Saudi Arabia shows are a cesspit. 156 people murdered in 2017. That's three people murdered every week. Tortured, burned, chopped up, whatever. Three people a week murdered for a full year. Not a bad average that is it for a murderer. But Eddie Hearn and Joshua will take your money. Cause it's good for British boxing. No, it's good for AJ boxing. It is what it is, but I'm getting like a broken record now, aren't I? We're not about it. It bothers
bothers me that much where you can see kids in there putting effort in in there and then you'll see that Joshua running for his life trying to pick pick and poke against uh, a, a man five stone overweight so I'm not uh, I'm not impressed but they did what they had to do they did what they had to do and that's that in it so I'm even talking like a man we had to get the W no you don't when you're going 66 million no you don't you've got to excite and put a show on and charging an extra fiver well everything I said come true 1.6 million buys at a fiver what's that It's an extra 8 million quid. 20% of 8 million is 2 million quid. So them fivers got Eddie Earn an extra 2 million pound. Now that 2 million pound extra, will that filter down? Because all they've done is took it off. All they've done is take it off the off the punters, haven't they? Will that filter down to grassroots boxing? Will it Eckers like? Will it Eckers like? No, it won't. It won't filter down to grassroots boxing. No, it will not filter down. They're not getting you out, match room. When Scott Westgarth died, they had a whip round, didn't they, at a weigh-in. Sent them round with buckets for whip round, didn't they? And they handed over some money, I don't know how much it was, for Scott Westgarth dying, but... Matcham didn't dip into their pockets unless there's something going on I don't know about but from what I heard they had a whip round with buckets which is fair enough but I would have liked to have seen a lot more done for Scott Westgarth from the people in power I would have liked to have seen a lot more done kid lost his life so but yeah like I said Matcham are just takers aren't they Porky you're a hater you're a hater yeah and you're a taker a taker No, it is what it is. I'm passionate about boxing, aren't I? That's just how I feel. So, that's that. It is what it is, isn't it? I come right away here. What are you doing, mate? It's been a long day. Yeah, come. I ain't got time to wait about for you, mate. Doing 25 mile an hour in a 60. I'm coming by you, and that's that. So get ready. It's time to get in, get an hot bath. Can't eat that much because of my gastric band. So get an hot bath, get a tin of soup in a big cup. And then I'm off to bed. how quick I can get up here. I once got chased up here years ago, right, in a Jag. I wasn't driving, I was only 17. I'm not going to say we're driving, but we were doing 120 up here, right? And how we were doing it, because he was being chased, he had his main beam on, so they can't see your back lights. It scared life out of me. Scared life out of me, dude. It scared me to death. There's loads go off that corner there. Come flying by here by Crook Hill Golf Club. It's a nightmare. But this is what it is, isn't it? I prefer it if I'm driving. But all in all, nine and a half out of ten for Mick's show. And this is the final part. I'm not sure if it's gonna be in a four-parter or a five-parter, but I know this much I've got a load of editing to do tonight I'll get it out there for tomorrow at 6 p.m. as promised if anybody wants to go onto the live chat feel free but this is end of video isn't it so it's a bit late telling you about the live chat but so alright so that's that so peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging Services of Rotherham. Thank you for backing channel. Bump bump. 
Sun see who your mates are when you're setting up in business, don't you? Sun see who they are. Alright. Oh, peace out.